the subject the gift of God tell three people say the gift of God say the gift of God amen watch now the word gift in the Greek language comes from several words I've extracted four the first one is the react the react which connotes theater so every gift that was on the stage here tonight whether it was our very efficient host, Pastor Albert, to every singer, musician, and so on, their gift is on display. And all of us that were observing that gift were actually in a, a moment of theater. Because when a gift is on display, whether it's David killing a giant, whether it's Elisha uh, healing Naaman, all of those gifts present a moment of theater and so as Shakespeare said in his sonnet as you like it the entire world is a stage and every man and woman is a player we have our entrances and our exits and our respective entrances and exits in the seven stages he so systematically portrays is a moment of theater even from a child to a fully matured individual Every stage in your life presents a moment of theater. You are being observed even when you don't realize you are being observed, mostly because of your gift. The second word is charis. It's the word we get charisma. The scripture says that God gives gifts unto men, charis. The Bible says that we must be aware that God has given us spiritual gifts. 1 Corinthians 12, that word gifts is charis which is a gift that God has given. The third word I want to interrogate for a few minutes is Dorea, D-O-R-E-A. That word means a gift given without merit, without entitlement. It's not something that can be handed down. It is a gift freely given. There can be no monetary exchange for that gift. It's something that money cannot buy. It's some exchange from the celestial world that is extended to you as a mere human being, causing you to have access through your spirit to the spirit of God. And the last word is the word doma, D-O-M-A. It's the root word we get domicile. The word domicile actually would mean space because every gift within its own right has been afforded a measure of rule, a place in which you have your space. Every gift has been given a space to function in competently and measurably. And so for every person here, there's no need for you to be envious of somebody else's gift because they have been allocated their domicile as you have been. The word domicile can be seen in an internet, internet sense where uh, there are billions of users, billions of users. And when you put up your own website or your own uh, Facebook or your own hashtag with billions of users, that is unique to you. It's called a domicile. And so your gift then has made room for you and will bring you before great men. Just tell three people, say, I know you are gifted. Don't be boring. Come on, say, I know you are gifted. Amen.